Hi, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. Your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregate news show on YouTube. Look, look, who's going to be drinking. Look, look, who's going to be smoking. Look, look, who's going to be swearing. Look, look, you have been warned. So here I come in three. Look, look, two. Look, look, one. Bye. Welcome, everyone. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Welcome. My name is Schmark Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, yes. Greatest show in the multiverse. And it's fucking take two. Take two. So, dag on. All right. So, uh, we have a great show for you today. We're going to talk about VeChain launches Thor version 1.3.3. We're going to talk about that. Bye. And then we're going to talk about IOTA launches smart contracts. I told you about that yesterday. That's what we're going to get into. China launches its countrywide blockchain platform. We're going to talk about that. U.S. Congress is introducing a bill that will add uh, digital money to the stimulus package that's going to come up with this corona crap. Bang, we'll talk about that. And then institutional investors, bang, bang, bang. Investing in Bitcoin and Ethereum is up. Bang. So I just did this fucking show. All right, so let's let's uh, let's pause. Bob, look, brother. I apologize if you felt offended by what I said. Okay, come on, brother. Come on back. Edwin's looking for you. Everyone's looking for. We all miss you, man. Like, come on, dude. You know I love you. You know that I know what you're going through, man. You know, if I made it sound a little bit like I was dismissing that, I didn't mean that. You know what I mean? I know what you're going through, so. Come on back. Come talk to us. We all miss you. All right. All right. So let's get going. And I apologize. Seriously. Like, seriously. You know what I mean? I didn't mean to offend you or anything. All right. So bang. All right. Bang. Let's go. All right. Mm. If there's any of you miscreants, I wouldn't care. But I like Bob. So got to apologize. <laughs> yes. Look, look. Let's do a little refresh. Actually, we're not going to refresh because I fucking actually already did this. So we're just going to do the numbers I did before. Fuck this. All right. Look, look. When I left yesterday, we we're at $7,071 on the Bitcoin. Today, when I refreshed about an hour ago, we we're at 7254 So we went up 187 All right. Bye. Top 10 of the day, brothers. Usual suspects. Top 10. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Litecoin, Binance Coin, EOS, and Tezos. Mark the moves of the day, brothers. Single digits up, single digits down. Fuck, I just did this whole fucking show. I was right near the end. Dang God. Single digits up, single digits down. Some fucks that knocked on my door. Single step, single step down. He was someone important, so I had to, <laughs> I had to answer it. Usually, I just let him sit out there. Tell him, wait. Uh, this, this guy was a little important. Look, top 10 uh, loser of the day. You see anything on here you like, you go get it because it's on sale. Top 10 loser of the day. Bitcoin, Swipe, Insolar, Pax Gold, Nexo, USD Coin, Paxo Standard, True USD, Binance USD, and Tether. Back and see top market movers of the day. Gainers of the day. If you see anything on here you like, go get it because it is on sale. Top 10 gainers. Digibyte, Engine Coin, Tezos, Numerare, Ethereum, Chainlink, Digix, DAO, Icon Maker, and Hedge Trade. All right, let's see what the total mark cap of the day is. I'm just going to use the one that I had before. We were at 210.1 when I originally spoke to you, which is up from 210.5 yesterday. Or sorry, sorry, 202.5 yesterday, which means we went up. 7.6 uh, billion dollars and 24 hour volume is 129.1 when i talked to you and it was 131 yesterday so we've gone down two billion dollars all right let's just get the fuck out of here fuck i'm pissed off i just did this whole daggone show well it's eight o'clock at night man i'm almost ready to go to bed fuck all right v chain Got it. Dang on it. All right. All right. VeChain Thor launches Thor V13 
to provide API updates for checking pending transactions. All right. So in its quest to build trust among users and ensure stability on its platform, leading supply chain and enterprise-focused blockchain project VeChain has rolled out an update of its Thor blockchain. According to details on GitHub today, the Thor blockchain has been updated to V version 1.3.3 to roll out API updates that would enable uh, users to check pending transactions on the platform conveniently. In addition, Thor V point version 1.3.3 is only a maintenance update and has been designed to provide a fix to all the flaws experienced in previous versions. So, bang! Major fix for all the flaws. Especially for bugs encountered during block production, uh, producing VeChain noted. The newly updated VeChain Thor blockchain features changes on the network's custom net as the project stated that it had been redesigned to accept big int in hexadecimal string whatever that means so the thor blockchain has also been updated to improve solo in on demand mode as well as provide a fix for the minor bugs that help the master node to ignore a better block when it coincidentally receives two or more transactions that have the same number Notably, the current API version of the Thor blockchain has been further improved to VeChain, or sorry, version 1.3.2, thus improving applications that access the data on Thor operating system. All right, so bang, there we go. VeChain is updated, bang, lovely. Let's move on, bang. Man, I gave you guys a good show, man, but this shit didn't even fucking, it didn't save this time. Because I would have, if it if it had stopped, I would have put the show on. I mean, if it had stopped and saved it, I would have put it on, but it didn't save this time. So, look, and we're just going to go through this because I just said all this crap. So, Iota dumps Qubit, says product requires resources and time. So, I'm not here. I don't give a fuck about Iota's Cubic thing. I mean, I do, but, you know, eh, they're... They're going to smart contracts, and that's what I want to show you about. Is IOTA going to smart contracts, all right? IOTA going to smart contracts. All right. So, the foundation, so IOTA, the foundation, in a surprising announcement, made known it is now focusing on the future of smart contracts on IOTA to quickly make the project go into the market in a twinkle of an eye. After close to two years of sleepless nights, the IOTA Foundation decided to move in new direction for smart contracts on IOTA. Bye! Here comes IOTA. So IOTA's going to compete in the smart contract space. Whenever I hear about smart contracts, it's always Ethereum, EOS, and uh, Tron, right? So, well, here comes IOTA, fucksticks. Look, look, and their shit's quantum proof. Ha, <laughs> ha. Look, look, the Iota Foundation has made the decision to stop the development of Cubic and pivot our focus specifically for the smart contract later, a release contained. So Cubic was this big thing that was going to happen. And, well, they decided uh, not that they're going to leave it alone. They're still going to work on it, but it's not a priority anymore. The smart contracts is now their priority. Cubic is something they'll do when they get around to it kind of thing. So the decision assures, ensures that IOTA goes to the market faster than expected. The main reason for this decision is to allow IOTA to go to market faster with a novel smart contract solution that works in conjunction with the Quartiside node software. You know, Quartiside, we talked about it. And in, in IOTA, they have a coordinator, which is, oh, everyone's complaining, oh, it's too centralized. So they came out with this thing called Quartiside which is not centralized. So now the foundation is going to be focusing its attention on the IOTA smart contracts, what the foundation refers to as its layer two smart contract solution. With the IOTA smart contracts, the foundation hopes to pursue a vision for smart contracts that are scalable and have low transaction costs. For now, the foundation says it is working towards achieving an alpha version of IOTA smart contracts via the Ghost Shimmer implementation 
Once the alpha is made available, uh, it is to be accompanied by a set of simple smart contract POCs, proof of concepts. All right. And so that's what we're here for. But if you guys are interested in Cubic, like if you're a true, you know, IOTA lover and you want to know about the Cubic thing, they're keeping the Cubic thing going. So don't worry about that. And you can read about it here in this article. So you guys know that I put the links to all these stories in the description of the videos. So if you care about Cubic, read on. There's stuff about Cubic in this article, but that's not what I'm reading it for. I'm reading it for you for the smart contracts part. But um, if you're interested in the Cubic part, it's there. All right? All right. Bang! Now, blockchain platform backed by conglomerates, government-sponsored think tank to go live next week. So here comes Xi Jinping. They're doing a government-made contract. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bl contract. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I was thinking about the smart contract shit. They're doing a government-sponsored blockchain. And so when I grew up in Canada, our power system is controlled by, well, was controlled by the government. So Bell Canada was the government system and that anyone can do stuff from it. And that's what China is doing. They're building a government blockchain and you can use it or not right you can get a private one or you can use the the government one so let's check it out what xi jinping's up to oh and it saves you some daggone money too boy look so the blockchain based service network bsn is set to launch in china on april 25th so that's in one week from today today's the 18th 25th the initiative led by the chinese government back think tank as you can see, I've already highlighted stuff I was banging for you guys. Fuck, I had to do this fucking whole thing again, man. It's fucking annoying. All right. So the initiative led by the Chinese government-backed think tank, State Information Center, aims to help companies deploy blockchain applications faster and cheaper. So whatever you are, if you're a fucking a, de a dentist office and you want blockchain, yeah, you can use this one. If you're a law firm... Go ahead. Anything, anything, any company, anyone can use this blockchain. And it's provided by the Chinese government. So here it goes. High, co high cost deployment. Operation and maintenance structure is the main current bottleneck toward blockchain development, right? Costs a lot of money. Costs a lot of money to maintain, right? That's the, the problem. But thus, there is an urgent need within the industry to create a public infrastructure network. All right, a government public infrastructure, you know? Anyone can just use it, said the BSN Development Association in its latest white paper attached below. Uh, currently... It costs about $14,000 to build a traditional three-peer consortium blockchain, local area network style environment, said the association, adding that the BSN would sharply reduce the cost to fucking $280 to $425. So you can get a blockchain built privately, costs you about 14 g But if you use the Chinese government one, ah, Cost you as much as a good a, a good night out with the wife. <laughs> That's it. A night out with the wife. Let's go. Let's go, sweetie. Yeah. Well, you want a blockchain, you just tell sweetie, look, sweetie, I'm going to cook for you tonight. And then you get yourself a little blockchain. So it'll cost you $280 to $425 a year to form a chain to become operational. A year. A year. Like, not, not just... You know, every day, a year. So this will encourage a vast number of small, medium, and micro-sized enterprises and individuals such as students to use the BSN to invest, or sorry, to invent and innovate, uh, thereby accelerating the rapid development of widespread use of blockchain technology, said the association. The BSN can be used as the Internet of Blockchain. Bang! And that's what they're doing. China is eating our lunch. Your lunch, my lunch, bang! The lunch of our countries. Uh, this thing is huge. It's, 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 it's massive. 
uh, all their industries and all their companies will now have a cost-effective way to deploy blockchain. Now, I'd like to hear about the blockchain. Is this, you know, about it? You know, like, uh, how is it, you know, how does it work? But, um, but, and so, oh, oh, there's still more. Okay, hold on. So the association said that the BSN has already created almost 100 public city nodes in China with support for three telecom carriers, China Mobile, China Telecom, and China Unicorn. Looking ahead, it is planning to take the numbers to around 200, as the association is currently in talks with global carriers, cloud service providers, and other companies within the blockchain industry. China appears to have accelerated its blockchain and digital currency initiatives amid the coronavirus pandemic. Just earlier this week, the country's government announced 71 members of its national blockchain committee that would work in setting in industrial standards. Yesterday, China's state-owned bank, the Agricultural Bank of China, appeared to have released a mobile test app that supports the national digital currency product. So, but uh, what I want to show you is just that, right, they're eating our lunch. And so I wanted to say something to you. And then here's China, the crypto ranking. So every month, China comes out with this fucking ranking right here. Um, where, oh, there's no, no picture of it. Uh, where they, they rank the top 35 cryptos. Um, well, here's where the picture is supposed to be, but it's not showing. All right. But anyway, so let me, we've done it here before. Um, uh, so what I want to say is, uh, is that what I think that China is doing, so this is the China talk. I got to talk fast because I don't want people to come to my house. And then I got to do this over again, again. I'm not doing that again. So what China is doing is they are, they're not letting this cryptocurrency stuff come. Uh, you know, stable coins and Zcash, Monero, all that crap. So they're going to release their own cryptocurrency. This is only my speculation. This is what I think. And let's see if I'm right. They're going to release their own cryptocurrency, their digital yuan. And then for our V chains, our IOTAs, our Stellars and all that, then they will release um, trading for that. You know, they'll allow the people in, to invest in, in uh, distributed ledger technology solutions providers. You know those guys, but the um, the 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 stuff you know the cryptocurrency. Oh, here's the list. All right, there it is. All right, so see what I'm saying? They keep coming up with this list every month. Bang, bang, bang. So they say EOS is number one, Tron is number two, Ethereum number three, Lisk number four, all the way down the line. And so that's what I. And so what I'm trying to say is, I guess, I think that China, and I've told you guys this from 2018 but I haven't said it in a while. China is going to allow trading and investing and everything in this cryptocurrency space, but they want to control it. And they don't want to allow their uh, citizens to be caught up in bullshit, um, bullshit ones. Uh, bullshit, uh, what do you call these? We, ICOs, ICOs and stuff like that, scams. So I think what they're doing is they're going to come up with their cryptocurrency, their government-backed one, their CBDC, digital yuan, and then they're going to allow people to invest in this stuff here because I don't know why you're rating it. Why are you rating all of these every single month if you're not going to let your people invest in them? And so that's what I think. I think they're going to allow their people to invest in what they think is or are viable uh, revenue-generating companies. But the ICOs and bullshit like that, nah. Until you show that you're generating revenue and, you're, you're, and that you're legitimate, China's not going to allow you. But once you're, you're viewed as legitimate by the by the, 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 the Communist Party of China, bye. Yes. You'll be good to go in China. And why we care about China is because China's 1.4 million people, on, billion people on Earth. One in five on Earth. One in five on Earth. All right. I know I'm talking fast because I got to get out of here. I don't want someone to knock on my door and then I fuck up this show again. All right. U.S. Congress members reintroduced digital dollar in automatic boost to Communities Act. 
So as you guys know, we're doing stimulus checks here. So the next stimulus check is called the Automatic Boost to Communities Act. And a couple of Congress people are gonna try to introduce a digital dollar into it. And the Democrats are doing it. The Democrats are doing it. And I'm surprised about that. You know, the Republicans are usually the money people. You know, Republicans don't give a fuck about worker bees. <laughs> they give a fuck about straight cash, homie. Uh, and Democrats usually don't like money guys. They just like worker bees. And so I'm surprised that this happened. But So let's hurry up just to make sure. The U.S. government has begun distributing the coronavirus, the coronavirus, the COVID-19 stimulus checks. Yes, congratulations. Bang, got your money. In a bid to boost the economy. A new development in the lower house, Representative Rashid Tlaib is looking to introduce a digital wallet in the new bill. Yeah, she's trying to put a digital wallet in this thing so that every American will have a digital wallet. Um, into the Automatic Boost to Communities Act, ABC. to which the $2,000 extended monthly payment will be distributed to. So she's trying to get Americans to get $2,000 a month until this thing's over and to get it on a digital wallet. So that, I should explain that. So, and no later than January, so this is what the law says. So the act reads that no later than January 1st, 2021, the secretary shall offer all recipients a boost. Boost is this is this bailout thing for people, right? Payments that option receive their payments in a digital dollar wallet. Wallets. So the ABC Act was introduced in the lower house on Thursday. And so here are all the politicians that are for it. All of them are Democrats. I'm surprised, man. So D stands for Democrat. So Jesus Garcia, Democrat from Illinois. Alcy Hastings, Democrat from Florida. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Democrat from New York. Ilham Omar, Democrat from Minnesota. So, I'm surprised the Democrats are down for it. So I guess what I want to say, what I'm going to tell you right now is, without the coronavirus, maybe the Democrats wouldn't have been down with, with crypto because one of the Democratic people who were running for president, her name was Elizabeth Warren. She was not down for crypto she hated crypto she hated any of that any of that she was so anti-libra anti all of it anti-crypto anti-libra all of it she she basically lumped she lumped all this crypto stuff with libra like is how her brain was so i'm glad she's not in the running anymore but um yeah like look 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 i mean democrats so look wherever you are in america you go Democrat, Fox Dick. That'll get us some crypto. It looks like they're up for it. You know, Republicans here in America, they're for the money. You know, if you're a corporation, an oil company, yeah, they'll they'll give you all the money you want. You know, they don't like worker bees. <laughs> Democrats are for the worker bees, you know? So that's why I'm surprised that they're for this money thing like this. All right. You know, Democrats want worker bees to have unions and you know, get free health care and, you know, look at Bernie Sanders, you know, not paying for, for college even and stuff, which is good. I mean, I, I'm not I'm not saying that's bad. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Why should these kids come out of college with all that debt? You know, you should come and just be a productive member of society right away. And now the money you're making from your job, you should be able to put it into the society. Buying a home, getting a wife and, da -da 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 and stuff like that. And instead of paying a bank. So, yes. I'm not saying I'm anti, you know, any of that. All right, so look, fuck, let's get back to this crypto crap. Look, the bill aims to improve access to financial services to Americans, connecting the Federal Reserve directly to the citizens. The short-term uh, $1,200 stimulus is currently underway, but some Americans are yet to receive the check as the system faces some challenges with third parties. So the initial stimulus bill included a digital dollar payment. So remember we read it here, but then it got turned away. Um, payment system to allow seamless disbursement of the funds, but was later removed. That's what we talked about, was removed. But the ABC Act aims to transform the digital payments field during this pandemic 
and beyond looking into various forms of payments, including digital wallets, debit and credit cards, online payment systems, and access to mobile payment systems. So, but why we're reading this is, what this is going to do is, they're going to give everyone what she wants to do. Well, she wants to give everyone $2,000 a month. We'll see how that goes, but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But she wants to give everyone a digital wallet. So anytime there's a problem, like a fucking pandemic, <laughs> you know, all right, you get your money on a, you just get your money like that. And so here in America, if you did your taxes last year and had direct deposit, you got your money uh, within the past couple of days. But if you didn't do direct deposit, those people are still hurting. Those people st still don't have their money here. And so what she's saying is she wants a digital wallet. And so whenever there's any government money to be given to you, bang, they'll just give it to you in your wallet. So here in America, like I like this idea because here in America, for instance, you guys know I live in South Beach. Well, every fucking year we have hurricanes. It's called hurricane season. And you never know. They'll fuck you up. And so I was here two years ago. And we got fucked up by the Hurricane Irma. Oh, three years ago, Irma. And, uh, like, I couldn't come back. I couldn't come back to my house for two days. The cops wouldn't let me back. And you got FEMA money, the Federal Emergency Management Agency money. But you had to wait for a check in the mail. And so, but imagine if everyone had a, 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 a digital wallet. Every American has a digital wallet. And so any money that America has to give you, buy. You just get it. Yes, yes. That's the vision. That's the vision. This lady's smart. Uh, well, she's only doing it for this coronavirus thing, but I mean, once people have digital wallets, well, you'll just use that for everything, right? Uh, like, you know, here in America, like I said, FEMA. Like, so when a hurricane comes and we get fucked up, FEMA pays us, right? Um. We got tornadoes in Tornado Alley. You got flooding going on around the country, you know. So whenever you're in the Carolinas and stuff. And so if everyone has a digital wallet, you won't have to wait for some check to come somewhere. You'll just get it and you'll just get the money and done. Bye. All right. So there we go. And then finally, look. Oh, yeah. Institutional investors. Pour $498 million into Bitcoin and Ethereum as crypto fund executives declare cats out of the bag. So look, I like to leave you guys always on a Saturday with some good old money talk. Bye. Yes. Let you know that. Bye. Your money's on the way. Your money is on the way. Settle down. <laughs> we all got to just wait. The money's on the way. It's a lot of hurry up and wait. I know. I know. I know. But look. It'll be well worth the wait. Yes, it'll be well worth the wait when this money finally comes through. Think about this. I don't know how much your portfolio is worth, but let me just make some estimates. Some of you, I mean, some of you I've seen, you got you got some big money. Uh, but let's say like three to five million dollars. Some of you got twenty million. I could see the one brother you showed me your shit with your fifty-five million V chain. Look, look, <laughs> right? Big money talk. The money's on the way, right? When that money comes, which will be within the next two years, uh, would you have made all those millions in two years? Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> so why am I saying that to you? But anyways, just, oh, I got the wrong card. But, uh, you know, it, you're going to make this money. So don't worry about it. And don't worry about Corona. Don't worry about any of that. This money is still coming and it's still on the way. All right, let's move on. Because here comes the institutional investors. That's what I mean to say. So look, new numbers from the digital asset manager giant Grayscale shows investors are collectively throwing big money into Ethereum for the first time on top of record investment numbers for Bitcoin. But and the reason I bring this up is you notice that we've been reading a lot of Ethereum a lot of major players uh, are are launching on Ethereum, right? And now, what these guys are saying at Grayscale 
is that investors, they're throwing a lot of money into Ethereum. Bye. Yeah. So according to Grayscale Q1 2020 report, institutions are taking a serious interest in Ethereum, enough to print a record quarterly inf inflow into the Grayscale Ethereum Trust. Spencer Noon, the head of crypto investment at DTC Capital, says the numbers show Ethereum has reached a turning point with higher net worth investors. So the, the, the high net worth people, the big money, is starting to realize the value of Ethereum, right? So institutional investors are buying Ethereum. The cat is officially out of the bag from the, la from the latest Grayscale report. Grayscale Ethereum Trust saw $110 million in Q1 inflows. This is more than all of its previous inflows combined for the past two years. So for two years, they've had this fund. Yeah, people were nibbling around the edges. People ain't nibbling anymore. They're fucking pouring in for Ethereum. So look, look, in the weeks prior to the end of the quarter, Inflows into Ethereum actually surpassed Bitcoin. Look, look. Inflows into... Bye. Surpassed Bitcoin. And do you know what? I, so I'm going to just say this. This is only my opinion. But Bitcoin is not... It doesn't do anything. It's like digital gold. It's just there. Right? It's... The value of it is just what we say it is. It's not really anything. Right? It's bullshit. Not bullshit. Like, let me calm down. I mean, I own some Bitcoins, but only because I know that we're going to have funds and stuff that are make stuff out of Bitcoin, and so it'll go up. But it's like gold. It's just there. But it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't have any value, really. It's just there, like a piece of gold. It just looks pretty when you, you put a chain of it around your girlfriend's neck, right? Like, <laughs> it doesn't do shit, though. Whereas Ethereum... Well, a bunch of companies are building stuff on it, right? I read you yesterday, or the day before, right? Like, I mean, I've been reading you all, all year. Like, just things are getting built on Ethereum. So the big money, the institutional investors, well, their analysts aren't stupid. I've talked to you about analysts here many, many times. And their analysts are saying, Hey, Mr. Clark, if I'm a hedge fund guy. Hey, Mr. Clark, this thing, you hear the Ethereum here. A lot of people are building on this thing. This could be a wise investment opportunity. And, uh, well, the money's flowing into Ethereum. So, across the entire quarter, investors poured a record $139 million into Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. In addition, $120 million invested in the Gray fee gray scale ethereum trust for a total of 49 million. all right grayscale's digital asset trusts are all fully backed by real cryptocurrency across all of its products which also offer exposure to xrp bitcoin cash litecoin ethereum classic stellar lumens zcash and horizon grayscale reports a record inflow of 503 million dollars all right come on man what the fuck oh okay there we go that's what i wanted to Get to this shit. So look, we're down here now. Investors are tactically using drawdowns to increase their exposure to the asset class, even in a risk-off environment. So I've taught you, I've I've taught you about risk on, risk off. Okay, when we're when risk on, uh, the big mega boys are, you know, playing around with shadow banking stocks, blah blah blah, all the good, you know, those those things. When we go risk off. Well, pfft, bang, they take all their money and go into Swiss, Japanese, and American bonds, and also precious metals, gold and silver. Those are the five, what we call risk-off assets in the world. And so this guy's saying that even though it's risk-off, he's saying he's seeing uh, uh, some interest in, in crypto. So our institutional investor segment also continues to expand a trend that could gain additional momentum as legacy financial institutions reinforce the investment thesis for the asset class. All right. Additionally, an existing investors allocate to multiple products. The investment community should monitor 
the expansion of increased demand for diversification within the S class. So people are looking around to put their money other where, uh, elsewhere. So buy, so buy. Institutional investors are here, and they're on the way. They're here and on the way. They're flowing in, and uh, I'd say I want you to be happy about. And even though that we are in a risk-off environment, I've taught you what risk-off is. Even though we're in a risk-off environment, bang, they're seeing uh, they're seeing institutional uh, drive and push into the space, which is amazing because. Personally, when we go risk off, I didn't think anyone would want to touch this bullshit right here. <laughs> so look, look, great stuff, great stuff. All right, let's move on. Let us, hold on, let me, all right, move on to the, bye, here we go. Binium, look, look, what's Binium talking about? Let brother, see brother, bye, what's he talking about? 75 billion hedge fund renaissance technologies is eyeing the bitcoin what has opened the door to investing in bitcoin oh a hedge fund is coming into bitcoin yes yeah. well that's what we need i'd like to see what country that's from but nice bye april mays yes i know who you are love you ma'am see you ma'am bye <laughs> yes. Son of a bitch. Look, look, bye. Look, look, bye. Look, bye. Yeah. Got to get that wrong, Kaz. Yeah. Look. Red scanner. Oh, love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Sweetie. Love you, sweetie. See you, sweetie. Bye. And look, look, sweetie. Remember, like, hold on. I'll, I'll read your thing because I saw what you wrote, and I'll read it in a second. Bang. All right, let's just give her a bang and get out of here, and then we'll read that. Brawly people, umbrella people, love you guys. See you guys. Bang. And here's what Sweetie wrote. All right. <laughs> you don't know the half of it, girl. Look, look. She said, hold on, let me read it. She said, I hear you loud and clear, because I told her about the, the, the things last night. I did think just for a second, I suck. <laughs> no, you don't suck. You just started. You just fucking started. And you fucking started in in the middle of a war zone. <laughs> like, don't worry. No, you don't suck. You don't suck. Look, when I first started, I that was during normal times. Yeah, I blew out four accounts. Yeah, my first account, I blew out in one week, the first week. You're still alive? Settle down, girl. You're good. You're good. You don't suck. And the fact that, you know, I know what Hector, you're listening to what Hector says. Put the stop just a few pips behind where you're entry, right? And you're getting stopped out and stuff. Yeah, these are different times. These are killer times. This is this is like fucking World War II genocidal maniac times. And, you know, when I left you, you remember when I left you the first day? Remember when I left you? That day was the first day of the thrashing of the markets. Yeah. And I, 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 I configured your, your Fibonacci's for you and everything. Yeah, you just started that day. So I want you to remember that. Your first day of real Forex trading, you should look at it as the first day of the coronavirus meltdown in our stock market. That's when you, you look at it. And what you should also look at it is, dude, you, 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 you're trading through a war zone. <laughs> you're... It's like I took a little a, a person, some school teacher, right? And I gave him a gun and I said, well, look down there, pull that trigger. Good. You're ready to go. Okay. And I plunked them in the middle of a war. They don't know about no gangster war shit, right? They're a school teacher. <laughs> That's what you got plunked in the middle of a war zone, sweetie. And so, no, you don't suck. Don't worry. Uh, all right, but you say here, but no, I'm not discouraged. I hope that no one else is discouraged either. Thank you, Shamari. You're brilliant. Wow. Yes, I know. There's a little brilliance there, but I'm not really brilliant. Just I've, I've made all the mistakes, and so I know what not to do. <laughs> so now I make my money. But look, look, sweetie. Bang. There you go. Yeah, don't worry about it. 
you're starting, you're cutting your teeth. What what, what Ronk has told you, 007, this son of a bitch here. Son of a bitch, bye, bye, bye. What he told you one day, I don't remember if you remember in the comments, in our private comments, he told you one day, you're cutting your teeth. What did he say? He said you're cutting your teeth in, you know, just in a Holocaust. Like, it, it, he had a word for it, man. Fuck. In a firestorm. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't normal. What what we're going through here, this is not normal. Having to have my stops back 200, 300 pips, that's not normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, m market's moving 900 pips in one day. That's not normal. That's not normal. Usually 100, 200 a day. All right, that's that's a good trade. All right, so anyway, so I hope you get, but you seem, you're, you're happy. You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, just keep learning, man. Keep plugging away. And I know it seems fucked up. You'd be looking at a four-hour trend, but then there's an hourly trend coming against it. You're like, which one do I take? Which one do I take? Don't worry, man. You'll learn all about that. You'll learn all about that. All right, sweetie. Oh, let me give her another bang. Yes. Bye. There you go, sweetie. And for the rest of you guys, you're learning in, in crazy times. Yeah, this is crazy. This is not normal. <laughs> So, you know, if you're getting discouraged, like, oh, my gosh, you know, I'm not winning any trades here or something, or I'm getting crushed. Look, brother, this isn't normal. Just keep plugging away. You'll get it. All right. Genja. See you, brother. But what else we got? Ricardo, Tuto, love you, brother. See you, brother. But and then we give him a but. Bam. Yeah. What are you talking about? Look, look, CB News. All right, Benny, what are we looking at? Vertalo, T0, are bringing $300 million in real estate to the Tezos blockchain. Tezos again? I've been talking about those miscreants for a little while. Well, look, look, Tezos hodlers. Tezos folk. Bye. Good stuff. Told you about that real estate and, and blockchain. Uh, that is going to be huge. Huge. Oh, I know about this one. CB News. Yes, Binium. x back CEO appointed on Trump's task force. She is. She's on the financial task force, so let's give this up. Bang. First of all, she's on the uh, on, on Trump's new task force. But remember, her husband is the uh, of the new uh, the CEO of the New York Stock Exchange. Is she going to fight for CEO or uh, sorry, sorry, for New York Stock Exchange or backed or both? We'll see. We'll see. So that's her, Kelly Loeffler. Leffler is what her name really is. All right. Bang. Look, look. Dicko family. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Family of cryptos together stays together. Bye. All right. And here's a bunch of miscreants right here. Let's clean it up. Let's clean it up right here. Papa Doc. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Dave Entertainment. Soul brother. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. God dang. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Oh, what's this new thing? Crypto News 24 by 7. We tweet news about the cryptocurrency world. Join us today and stay on top of the crypto news to become a top crypto investor. All right. Look, look. Later, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Mm -hmm. They're sloppy. Sloppy. Later, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Oh, Karen Thomas of the Thomas family. Yes, Karen. You've been, you've been gone for a minute. Look, look, good to see you again. Love you guys. See you guys. Bang. All right. That's a good enough. That's everybody. Oh, what do we got? Hurricane Master. Hurricane Master. Bang. And then finally, Daryl Duran. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang. And the last one I'd like to say, Bob Tincha Master. I hope I can bang you again on the Twitter. Bang. You get one anyway. Don't be angry at me, brother. You know I love you, man. Dag gone. It's fucking angry at me. All right. Bye. All right. Let's get back here. Bye. <laughs> Not my personal problem. Look. All right. Let's get to it. V Chain launches Thor V.1.3 <laughs> version 1.3.3. Bye. Yeah. So, and it said it, it cleared up all the, the bugs in the, the past. 
uh, iterations of the Thor, and so, bah, good stuff. And then I own a launch of smart contracts. Yes. Going to compete with EOS, Tron, and uh, what's that thing? Ethereum. Bye. Good stuff. You know I oughta. The standard. And then China launches blockchain platform. Now, exactly. They're cryptoing up. Uh, so they're blockchaining up their whole country. And uh, you saw the difference. You can make all, your own blockchain. Cost you about 14G. Or you can use the China blockchain. Plus about 400 bucks. Yes. Look, look, here comes China. And then U.S. Congress introduces digital dollar to the stimulus. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. I'll be keeping my eye on it. That's how America is. There's a big bill. Oh, yeah, I just tuck all sorts of stuff in there that's irrelevant. But uh, but that's good. It's good. Uh, but th let me get serious about that. But that's good because, you know, give every American a digital wallet. And any time any problem happens, all right, well, and any time funds are supposed to be dispersed, boop, you get them. So that's cool. And then finally, investors are investing in Bitcoin and Ethereum is up. Years. Uh, like I said, the Bitcoin thing is amazing because uh, everybody knows what Bitcoin is, but Ethereum is amazing because now the analysts, the, the hedge fund guys and their analysts are looking at this space properly. And they see that Ethereum is onboarded many many fortune 500s and so it's their turn to be invested in and so that is logical to me that's what i've been waiting for and bye that's good stuff so let's chill and kill it let's get you back to your wives and lives so subscribe below press the bell you get automatic notification when i do the show the greatest show on earth greatest show in the multiverse look my name is Shamar clock love talking money bye love talking crypto bye this is the favorite time of my day so, thank you for having me in your home. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Enjoy your quarantine. Spend it with loved ones and friends and whatever. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. So, subscribe here. Bye. Watch this video here. Bye. And I'll see you guys Tuesday. My name is Shamar Clark. Look, look. I'm always watching our money. Bye. Bye. Yes, I'm always on duty. Over and out.